Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of my Chunk Locked Ultimate Iron Man. So towards the end of last episode, I got a lot of big chunk unlocks and one of the things that allowed me to do is Vampire Slayer. So between episodes, I progressed on the quest and I also uh, spent most of my cash stack on some gear upgrades. So I now have the Mithril Sword, some studded armor, uh, 500 cast of Fire Strike with a Fire Staff, and so on. But hopefully this will be enough to, uh, take on Count Drainer. I'm not expecting it to be too tough. Okay, maybe it's going to be a little tough. But, I don't know. Magic should just, yeah. <laughs> he, he's not that high level. Oh, magic level. Hopefully levels don't mess me up here. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't really have a plan for what I want to train on with all this stuff. But I know I want to start working on combat a bit more, especially now that I have, you know, a Mithril Sword, and I think I might have slightly overprepared for this fight. <laughs> uh, yeah, Vampire Slayer will give me a bunch of attack experience, putting me closer to an Adamant Sword, but I figure it's still worth getting the Mithril Sword for the time being. And, uh, it also will give me one chunk unlock for doing the quest. There we are. So there is Vampire Slayer completed and 26 attacks, so only uh, four levels off an adamant uh, sword. So yeah, that means I now have another total level milestone and a quest unlock. So let's see what the new chunks are to start off this episode. So the first chunk is, ooh, I feel like I say that every time, but uh, <laughs> hmm. Well, that does put me closer to Taverly Dungeon, which could be interesting. I don't think there's too much here. Like, there's a mine, but I feel like I have a lot of other mines that are just as good. And the next chunk is... Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I don't think I'll be doing anything there yet, but, um... Yeah, that that's definitely an unlock. <laughs> oh, no, I, I really... I mean, it's going to take up more unlocks in the wilderness now, which is why I'm not super thrilled about it. But Mage Arena is one of my early game goals to get the cape. So once I have the cape rack in the player-owned house, that will be nice. But yeah, uh, there is also another thing I can do. So I actually forgot or didn't mention it in the other episode. But I have also been working on uh, a poor scene of interest. That's another quest. And when I unlock the Champions Guild square... I could now finish the quest. The problem is I need to find a level 37 Sour Hog, and I think that's a little tougher than Count Drainer. But now that I have uh, the Mithril Sword and can get an Adamant Sword, I feel like I can take that guy. So I'm probably going to train up a bit, get to an Adamant Sword, and be able to wear my studded armor, and then we can try a poor scene of interest. I trained to 20 range at Hell Giants, but uh, it didn't really work to melee there. And here is 24 fishing, because... Uh, yeah, I decided I'm going to stock up on some food and try the Stronghold of Security again. Probably just Minotaurs. I already got the Adamant Sword, so I'll probably just camp there for a while and get up my attack and defense. At least I can wear Studded and the Adamant Sword. But that is 400 total level, which means I get to roll two chunks. The one chunk for uh, the 10 total level, and then the bonus chunk for the milestone of 100. So let's see. The first chunk I get is... Ooh. Once again, my go-to reaction. Uh... Actually, I don't think I should unlock that because I need this one to start the quest to get in there. But, uh, yeah, um, that's really nice. Uh, I have access to the furnace here now. Uh, I, don't, I know there's other stuff. Uh, another way to get into the wilderness or to get out of the wilderness, I should say. Um, yeah, so that's a pretty good uh, first unlock there. And now for the pick two. Okay. <laughs> Why is it always land's end? Well, in my choice is Land's End or this vacant area of wilderness. You know what? I think either way, they're going to unlock nearby areas. So, yeah, I might as well just pick Land's End finally. I know there is some stuff down here that can be useful. So, uh, I don't know. I'll have to check it out sometime. But those are the two unlocks for now. And, uh, yeah, going to catch some more fish and start working on the melees. I've been training up my combat stats and I'm almost ready to go do the Sour Hall quest. But uh, somehow all that training got me to nearly 440 total level. So I thought it would probably be worth rolling a few chunks before completing the quest and rolling a few more chunks. And I was going to get to uh, 28 strength to get to 440 total. But uh, I ended up getting a random event. And if I put this on Hunter, I believe that will get me. There we are, 10 Hunter. 
So, uh, getting closer to Implings, but that also means I now have four chunks to unlock. So, uh, let's see what the first one is. Okay, uh... Well, that is Hunter Areas. I don't think I can do any of them now, because I don't have the Hunter equipment. But I probably should, uh, check that out. And I don't think I can get over here, because that's up the hill. I haven't experienced much of the rework saves, you know, so I don't know exactly. I think that's a path through, so that chunk technically should be unlockable. And the back end of the Woodcutting Guild. Although I might be wrong on this, but hopefully it won't matter. The second chunk is... Okay, Taverly. That is nice. Uh... I guess I can get through the gate there and there. So that's getting close to a bunch of quests like Doris Quest. It'd be kind of funny if uh, I do Doris Quest by going around and not through Falador. But it might be an option. So uh, that was the 410 and 420 unlock. So two more to go. Oh, that's actually really nice. So I think I can do Monk's Friend now. And... I might be able to do Clock Tower. I forget which of these shortcuts you have to go through. But I know there's some. And I might even be able to do Hazil Call. I forget where the uh, water valves are. But they might all be within this chunk and that chunk. So I don't have to look into that. But that does uh, get me close to a lot of quests. And for the final unlock, we get... Oh. Well. So I technically could go do the Mage Arena once I get my magic up. I do have, uh, you know, all these casts of Fire Strike. I really don't have a plan for what I'm going to Fire Strike, but, uh, I have them. So, um, hmm. <laughs> I don't know, the Wilderness stuff is always a bit of a ha huh on uh, Ultimate Iron Man, because I'd risk all my stuff, and I don't have a good way to store a lot of things at the moment. But I'm going to continue training up strength. If I get to 29, I get another max hit, so I at least want to get that before going to fight the Sour Hog. And, uh, yeah, we should have that quest in the next clip. And there is a poor scene of interest completed. And, uh, I think, uh, yeah, she's going to offer me a Slayer task, and, uh, I actually think I will. Scorpions. I think I can probably do that, but I'm not sure off the top of my head where I have Scorpions. But I do need to be a bit careful of Slayer, because of the whole chunk limitations. Like, if I get assigned something like, you know, Cave Slime, uh, that's going to be a problem, because I can't get down there. Especially, uh, the Relic of Slayer Cave. That's going to be the worst one. So it might be better for me to try and use, uh, Vanica. But I can't Turiel skip yet, because you need to Turiel skip a Turiel, not, uh, Spria, Spria, however you pronounce her name. But there is a poor scene of interest completed. Actually, my first member's quest completed. And there is also, uh, another total level milestone from, uh, the Slayer one. Huh, I did say in the chat that I hit, a uh, 450 total. Usually it does that. Oh, well. So that means I get two more chunks. So the next chunk is... Okay. That is the Catacombs of Karanda, which is, uh, honestly really cool. So, I can't think of anything I want to go there for immediately. Now, part of me kind of does want to, uh, you know, start using up Fire Strikes on Fire Giants to get a Rune Scimitar. But, ooh, uh, is this Fishing Experience? Yeah, it's Fishing Experience. I'll do that in a second. But, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure if I want to go right for that right now, because for the whole, you know, I can't bank it aspect, so it might not be worth getting a Rune Scimitar yet. But the other chunk is... Actually, can I get there? <laughs> I don't think I could actually get to that chunk. Huh. You know what? I think I'm going... Oh, it does have Ozjach. I guess I'll uh, count it because it has Ozjach. And I need that for Dragon Slayer. But I don't think I can actually get to the monastery because I can't get around this way or around this way yet. But I will say uh, that was the unlock, although since I can't access I can't access the nearby chunks. So I can, or I am getting closer to Dragon Slayer, I just need to get up my quest points a bit more first. So uh, yeah, now what I think I'm going to do is uh, there's some quests on the other side of the world over here, and I did also want to, you know, train thieving over here, so I think I'm going to get back to that now. It has been a long and arduous grind, but after jumping over this wall for hundreds of times, I am finally going to hit 10 agility. But yeah, it really wasn't that bad. I just jumped over the wall for, like I said, uh, I think like 150 or so times. I was coming uh, through Karamja to get to Ardy, and I figured I might as well stop by and do this while I'm here. That said, I also did realize um, it's a little hard to do agility on a UIM solely because... If I get Marks of Grace, I need to keep them in my inventory. I can't bank them. So, and I also don't have access to Birth Orb. 
So I can't even, you know, buy a piece and store it in my player around house yet until I do that. So I might just stay at 10 agility for a while just so I don't waste marks of grace. But I don't know, we'll see. And hopefully I can actually get out of here. Good news, I made it out of the agility arena, but I realized I forgot something. Uh, the agility levels also got me 460 total level, so I figured while I'm at it, I might as well have rolled the chunk just to see what I get, and okay, that's why I wanted to roll it. I thought I might have got a chunk around Artie, since that's where I'm heading, and well, this stuff, ooh, uh, I know that's my go-to is just ooh, but uh, yeah, I think that does mean I can start rolling Plague City, which would be that one. That you go from there and pop out there. So I guess that's the chunk I'd unlock, as well as rolling the one up here and the Fishing Guild up here now. So uh, yeah, that was a decent unlock. I can at least start Plague City, but you know, I need to unlock this chunk before I can progress in it. And I think that chunk's also required for it for the house up there. Uh, let's see, I don't think it changes too much else. Like, I mean... I could use the North Bank if I could bank. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to head over to Artie now and start on thieving and some of those quests. It turns out that chunk was a bit more useful than I thought because it allowed me to complete all of Sheep Shearer. I didn't realize all the sheep were in a single chunk, but apparently they were. So that now, or that means I now complete a quest, which means I get to roll another chunk. And oh, Lumbridge Swamp. Uh, that is definitely nice. It's uh, closer to completing Lost City. I need this chunk here to finish the quest. And I do have access to Swamp Caves now. And also, uh, I guess closer to Restless Ghost as well, because that is a chunk I would have needed. So uh, yeah, but now I, don't, now I have several other quests I can do in the area uh, down here. And I did check. It does seem like all of them are possible in the chunks I have. Fingers crossed that's correct. And here is Hazel Caught Completed. Ooh, I forgot that gave thieving experience. That's actually enough thieving experience now to do tribal totem, so I didn't have to steal more cakes. That's nice. But that also means I get another chunk unlock. So which chunk will I get this time? Wilderness. Great. <laughs> but I mean, that is uh, the chunk I need for the abyss. And can I get to the abyss? I mean, I need to do rune mysteries first, but you need three entry points. And is that my third or... I have already Wizard Tower and Vrock, so yeah, I would be able to unlock the Abyss once I uh, get Rude Mysteries, which I think just needs Lumbridge Castle now, so that's actually pretty neat. These quests are just rolling in. Here is Tribal Totem. So uh, that's some more theming experience, as well as another chunk unlock. So what do I get this time? Uh, okay, that's into Shazian now. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with this area post-rework, so I don't know exactly where everything is or what's in this chunk. But uh, there is some interesting stuff in Seijin, including an agility course that might be worth doing that doesn't give Marks of Grace. So uh, I will need to check that out, but I think I need to unlock a bit more of it first. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm not at another uh, total level milestone, so let's just continue on with these quests. I still have uh, Monk's Friend and Clock Tower. And this will complete a monk's friend. I already went ahead and did a clock tower. And if I am correct, the experience from this will also get me 470 total. Yep, uh, well, 473. Fitting. So yeah, that means I now get three chunk unlocks. One for clock tower, one for monk's friend, and one for 470 total. So let's see what I get. So the next chunk is going to be... Well, since I unlocked already, the quest chunks are just rolling in. Uh, technically I can get in the maze from that side, even though the top one's the proper, so, uh, there we go. And also, almost down to, uh, you know, which has a hunter shop, so I might actually get a hunter shop before I get any lamps for hunter. I wouldn't complain, but, uh, I can now do fight arena in this chunk, so that's another quest to add to the list. Uh, the next chunk I will unlock is more wilderness. Great. <laughs> Ah, no, that does have the Wilderness Dungeon, though, if I want to just look on the bright side. And the final chunk is going to be... Ooh, that has Dork's Quest, and I can also start uh, the new Below Ice Mountain, but I need this chunk to get up there, and I also need Falador. I'm surprised I still don't have Falador. But uh, a Dork's Quest will definitely be another one I should be able to do easily. I think all the ores are in Remington Mine, so uh, when I head back from Artie, I'll be sure to do that. I knew all those casts of Fire Strike would come in handy somewhere. There is the Fight Arena completed, which uh, gives a lot of attack experience. How hot does that get me? 36, so I'm almost at Rune. 
And that also gave me enough total levels for another total level milestone. So that means two more chunk unlocks. Okay, so for the first chunk, we have... Okay, I won't complain about that. Ferox Enclave is uh, pretty interesting, even if it is partially wilderness. Although we need the other side to be able to teleport into it. But there is also uh, a neat interaction where if you enter the Soul Wars portal to Soul Wars, you can exit to Ferox. So that is a shortcut, but I don't have uh, Soul Wars yet to be able to do that. So for the next chunk unlock, we have... Eh. I don't think there's like anything in this section of the wilderness. So that's a pretty dead chunk. But that is still two more chunks down, and I still can go back and do Dork's Quest, as well as uh, other stuff I've been meaning to get to. Like, I still want to do more thieving. I did try Warrior Women with 25, and uh, it did not go very well. I don't think it's really worth trying that for money. But I still do want to get my level up, and uh, probably work towards Arty Knights. I feel like long-term, that's going to be like one of the best ways I can make money, or at least the easiest ways. And here is Dork's quest. So that is another quest, but that also got me to 490 total level. So another unlock from that. So we head to the chunk picker. The first chunk is Karen Woodland. Uh, that does get me closer to the quest down here. And it is still hovering right around the woodcutting guild, which I'd very much like to get, even if I can't really use it yet. And the second unlock is Battlefield. Well, that can unlock a ZMI over here now, or that's next up to be unlocked. The Salamanders probably would be nice for hunter training later on. Uh, I know that's partially needed for uh, the Tree Gnome Village quest, but I also need to get, I think, up here. So I still need that chunk later. So, uh, yeah, now I'm actually not sure what I want to get up to exactly, but I do want to work towards 500 total. So maybe I'll just do some skilling. I ended up going to the ham hideout to get some steel tools, and now I'm training fletching, because it turns out fletching might be one of my better ways to make money, or at least once I get to the higher tier logs, just selling the unstrung bows to the general store is actually not terrible. But uh, there is 500 total, so now I get the every 10 level unlock, and then the 100 level bonus one. So for the first row, we get... Oh, finally, we get Falador. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything... To, I mean, we do get the agility course. That I think that is the highest level agility course I currently have access to. Uh, I do get the mine now. I didn't have access to the mine before, which, yeah, it already popped out there, so that chunk was already unlockable. But I can access the mine and the mining guild if I get the level. But I can't access too much else there. This is the chunk I'd really need for a lot of the Falador stuff. So now I get to roll two and pick one, and... Okay. Uh, oh, this is actually harder than I thought. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, it's wilderness, it's not important. Uh, Ferox is kind of important, actually. And what's this chunk down here? Hmm. I think I need to think about this for a moment. After spending a few minutes thinking it over, it was a really tough choice, because having Ferox and Last Man Standing would be really nice, but I think I am gonna unlock this one, just because I don't really want to unlock more of the wilderness right now. I'd rather much more focus on getting towards, you know, the areas up here. And this means this and this are now unlockable. And maybe that. I have to see because the dungeon's there and I'm not sure if I could technically walk around that corner. But, uh, yeah, this also unlocks the fishing guild, which is something I really do want to have for later. Even though this is, like, way out from where my levels currently are at. But I really do want to get to Minnows, so having this already unlocked will be nice. And mainly because it's getting me closer to Waterfall, Dwarf Cannon, and like I said, just the other areas up here. So, yeah, that's going to be the unlock for now. And I think I'm going to continue doing some fletching, and I don't know what I'm going to do after that. I've continued fletching here at Remington, and now I moved up to being able to cut and fletch oak trees. So I've been making a bit more money, but there is 34 wood cutting, and now I have 520 total level, which means another two chunk unlocks. So I'm kind of hoping the chunk unlocks will push me in the direction of, like, something new to do. Because I'm at the point where, you know, I could just keep training up existing skills, but some of the methods are a bit slow. Like, I'd love to go to Hosidius to train thieving but I need to get favor before I can do the fruit stalls. So there's a lot of stuff like that where, depending on the chunk unlock, it could uh, definitely benefit my account and where I've been training. So let's see what the first chunk is. Nice. Uh, that is Lumbridge. So uh, I can't get over to Alcarid from here, but that does mean I can actually do Lost City. That would actually be pretty big. Yeah, because I can... Uh, 
do everything just from the swamp and Entrana now. And, oh. Actually, the gold ring might be useful. But, uh, yeah, so that doesn't really unlock any neighboring chunks, but it is still a nice way to start off. And the next chunk is going to be... That one might be a bit more interesting. I feel like there was definitely some stuff that are missing that chunk was blocking. I now can access the Dwarven Mine from the top entrance. I can now get to the Monastery. Uh, I could get to Black Knight Fortress now, but I need to start the quest there, so... I don't know, I, I'll need to think about what these chunks actually do for me, but they're definitely uh, nice unlocks to have. So for the time being, I'll probably just uh, continue with Fletching. I don't know, I'm not sure. It's going to slow down a lot, but I would still like to get to Willow Ball, because I also would like to get Fire Making up so I can burn Willows as well. So, I don't know, maybe I'll have another couple chunk unlocks in a minute from uh, training up a bit. Well, this is probably not what you were expecting, but uh, after doing a bit more fletching, I decided to take a break and end up uh, selling my armor back because I'll need to get to Entrana soon and I wasn't planning on training combat. And then I decided to swing by the Dwarven Mine and try out smithing here and decided just to save a 30 smithing so I can now make steel because I'm sure steel is going to come up in some future quests and other things not too long from now. But that means I now have 540 total level, which means I get to roll another two chunks. So the first chunk is West Artie. Now, that's not enough to finish Plague City, but it would be enough to start progression. I need that house right there to finish the quest, unfortunately. And the second chunk is Wilderness. I uh, don't think I need that for Black Knight Fortress, so I don't think there's much there. But those are another two chunks. Also, uh, I think it was in the last time I rode chunks. Uh, I didn't mark that one as unlockable, but I can grapple across even if I don't currently have a grapple. So that technically should be unlockable. So uh, yeah, but now I think I'm going to uh, head back to working on fletching and fire making. Or actually, I might end up doing a quest because I realized uh, this chunk also has a uh, Mistalan mystery. So I think I'm actually going to go do that now. And this should be Mistalan Mystery completed. So that is one more quest down and some uh, nice gems I'll probably just end up uh, selling. But now I get another chunk unlock, which is... That is actually really nice. So I can't really do much here right now. I could get into this side of rock if I need to get down there. But I can't really do Family Crest yet. And I don't think that shop has much. But now I'm one chunk away from the sawmill. And I can't really get in here yet or would be able to unlock the dig site. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, now I think I am going to return to Remington to work a bit more on uh, fire making and fletching. You know, after you've been at the end game for so long, it's easy to forget how slow the early levels can be. But there is 30 fire making. I already got 35 fletching for the Willow Shortbows. And now I'm at 570 total, which means another three unlocks. So I'm actually really excited to see what I'm going to get because a lot of the map is opened up and I'm on the cusp of getting a lot of other big unlocks. So it's one of those things where it can kind of snowball a lot from here. So the first unlock is more of Shazian. Oh, lagging a bit here. But yeah, uh, that is the Zarek Lookout. Uh, some of the shops, like I said, I'm not too familiar with the new Shazian, so I'm not sure exactly what's in here. But it does seem like a pretty nice uh, spot of the map, so I'll definitely have to check that out. Next up, we have, oh, the other side of West Artie. And technically that goes through there. I wouldn't, even if I do need to step in one square there to enter the underground pass, I don't feel like that really should count. So, uh, yeah, I also don't really know what I'm going to do for some of these more mountainous regions. I'll probably treat them like ocean when it comes to it. So, uh, yeah, and for the final unlock, we have the top of rock. That is awesome. So, one of the things that has been limiting me is, well, one, I think I can do Romeo and Juliet now, because I need to get to the church there. But also, there's so many quests that require you to go to the rock library, and now I can go there. I don't think I had any active quests that needed it, but it still is a really big deal. And oh, I also think I can do the entirety of uh, Demon Slayer now, because I need to get into the castle for that. So those are two really, or that is a really big unlock, and I was really hoping I might get the sawmill, but oh well, maybe next time. And to end off the episode, 
Here is Lost City. So that's why I need to clear up my inventory earlier. But not only did I complete Lost City and get one row for that, I hit my first quest point milestone of 25 quest points. So pretty much this works the same as hitting a uh, 100 total level milestone. So I need to row one chunk at random for Lost City, which is the top of Artie. And yes, I finally get the servants. And I can also get over here now. So, yeah, I can now get uh, servants in my playground house, which is kind of what I've been waiting to get. That was the main thing holding me back. Although, it would also be nice if I could actually just roll the sawmill to get bolts of cloth so I don't have to do my exception or other convoluted means to get them. But, yeah, I can finally get servants and progress with construction. That is a really nice unlock. And I also have another farming patch now. And now I get to do a roll two and pick one. So, what are the two chunks I got? Well, let's see. The options are... It's actually a little harder than you might think. Because this one would give me mainly just Plague City. I don't think the combat training camp is going to come in to play much. It also would get me closer, I guess, to uh, gnomes. This one, however, though, gives me ZMI, which is not only good for rune crafting, but it's a good place to get a rune scimitar. And I kind of was tempted to start working towards a rune scimitar since, you know, I'm only a few attack levels off. So, hmm. I feel like for the moment it probably is smart to go for the quest chunk. Because that's a guaranteed chunk roll. While going down here, you know, really wouldn't get me another chunk roll right away. So yeah, those are the two chunk unlocks to end off the episode. I think they're pretty awesome chunks, mainly finally getting to the servant over here. And now I also have access to Zenaris, Zenaris, whatever you want to call it. Although, uh, I kind of realized I need to keep the Draymond stuff on me so I can get back here, which, uh, that's a little inconvenient. But, uh, yeah, it definitely will be a nice place to check out. I can't remember everything that's here, but, uh, oh, there might be some stuff that's useful. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and until next time, goodbye.